For today, I'm going to show you how to make nachos. Somebody suggested me on how do you, I mean, somebody suggested, please do more cooking videos. And I have nobody here but me and my dog. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to make nachos. Somebody commented, can you show us, oh, how do, how, how do you make nachos? <clears throat> Somebody said, do, please do nachos. So for today, we are doing nachos. I'm just having this for my lunch and nothing else. Um, you could do two layers or one layer pretty much, which I'm doing, probably doing one layer because I have a big party here for WrestleMania. For today, we have cheese, onion, and chicken. Looks like turkey for you, but it's actually chicken. Before I show you, on, before I show you and teach you how to make nachos, um, if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to smash that like button. Also, comment down below what I can do, what what I can make next. Also, don't forget to subscribe with the all positive videos bell on and you know when I upload new videos. WrestleMania starts tonight and tomorrow, so I'm really, really excited to watch the press conference later. Okay, first off, I doesn't really matter what kind of chips you have for nachos. <clears throat> we have hint of lime chips, which we're gonna pick them out. Whether it's in the bag, nice. I'm just gonna test this when the pocket is too big. We're gonna put a layer of chips on the tin for wool, which I already did already. Making them into crumbs because they're kind of some some of, some some of these are kind of big, so that's why. Chips on the paper one here. I'm not really hungry right now, but. So will probably eat something. Then you're gonna pour it on your cheese. All over the chips. Just like this. Then you're gonna put on your onion. Just like this. Imagine nachos like a flatbread. What do you like on a on a pizza? Right? You can do whatever you feel like, guys. It's just like a flatbread. Next, we're gonna pour on some of Italian seasoning. Just like that. Next, gonna put on some chicken all over because you don't want every single bite to be some onion, cheese, and some chicken. You can, I think, you can also do meatball uh, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know if you want some meatball nachos. That'd be very good to make. 
just like that. Then I'm gonna put on a little bit more chips, just a little bit more. Just like this. So I'm just gonna put this in half. Just a little bit more. Just like that. There's plenty of chips for me. This is just for me. Gonna put on more trees all over the chips again. And we, oh, I made some chicken. Here we go. Um, get some, gonna use all of the trees here. Just like this. You're gonna put it into the toaster for about like 10 minutes or so. You want all the cheese to be melted. Next, you can also put on more Italian seasoning, but I am not, but I am actually putting on some of these pepper flakes. I like, I like spicy food, so I would put some of these on. Just like that. And that's how you make chicken, cheese, nachos. Put this into the oven for about 10 minutes and you'll be good. I cut off some of the uh, the um, edges here because they were a bit too long. So that's how you make chicken nachos. I'll see you guys next time in a new video.